Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Friday, February 20th, 2009, and today we're reading Numbers chapter 27, and I'm really just going to touch on one small part of this for Lessons for Life, but there's much more you can get from it, so as always, I encourage you to read it through for yourself and see what you get from it. Email us. We'll put it on the blog. But what stood out to me was we see here that Joshua is uh, elevated and he's chosen by the Lord to be the one to lead the children of Israel. And as the Lord is speaking to Moses and telling him, uh, before he lays his hands on him, he says, because Joshua had the spirit in him. And I just reflected on that for, for a moment, just about Joshua really, when they have the spirit in him, that he had captured the vision of the Lord, and he's uh, really on the same page with the Lord. And uh, I thought about it as I read it earlier this morning, and then even afterwards, I just came up with a, a great example of, of this. Um, I had looked at some stuff for uh, work, uh, some emails that was there, cause, and I was at work uh, pretty late yesterday, later than I usually uh, like to be there, but I was there pretty late because we were very busy, and I saw that uh, one of the young ladies, uh, actually one that we had just given a promotion to and gave her a raise and so forth, but uh, she had took some work home with her because like I said we were busy and she had done some work and emailed it back to herself and I thought that this is a, in my uh, <laughs> uh, viewpoint this is an excellent uh, description of or even example of catching the vision or catching the spirit of even your leader um, because she took this work home so that you know it would make it lighter for today so because we had not was not able to finish everything. That's something that I would normally do. I would stay there extra late like I did yesterday. Um, but she took work home with her and she did it and she emailed it back to herself. And this is a great example of even having the spirit. And this is why she was even elevated even in the in her position and why she got a raise. And this is a lesson that we can learn for life. Of uh, If you want to get elevation, then you want to catch the vision of your mentor, your leader, catch the spirit. Just like even Joshua here is elevated to that position because he it says the spirit is in him. So he had the same vision of the Lord. He wasn't going contrary. He had the same objective. And uh, that's what we need to do even in life too. Catch the vision of our mentor, our leader, um, and you'll see elevation will come. And now you, you know, looking at it from the scripture point, you know, be on the same page with what the Lord wants you to do. Catch the vision of the Lord and you see elevation in your life in that regards too. But, you know, and spiritually you can see elevation and, you know, in your job you can see elevation. It's the key is to catch the spirit of your leader. Catch the spirit of the one who's actually going to be uh, elevating you by uh, seeing that vision and actually uh, helping that vision to come to reality and come to fruition. So that's what I wanted to share with Lessons for Life, really just about how Joshua was elevated to lead the children of Israel because it said that the Spirit was in him. So he was on the same page as the Lord, and that's why he became the leader of the children of Israel. So uh, with that, that is today's Lessons for Life. Create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we will talk again tomorrow.